I'm a London local, and I think London has some of the best food in the world. I've invited my friend Joe Avella over from the US to teach him how we do things slightly differently over here. We'll be visiting the best rated burger spot, my personal favorite, and a wild card all in one day to see if we can find London's best burger. This is Food Tours. Our first stop of the day, Honest Burgers. So what is it about this place that makes these burgers so honest? I think the reviews kind of speak for themselves. Oh yeah? On TripAdvisor, I believe, if you search best burger in London, seven of the top 20 are Honest Burger locations. They place a lot of emphasis on finding good quality ingredients. It's all like locally sourced British beef. Mm. They have beers from London breweries. Fantastic, sounds very London-y. It is. And that's what we're doing here, so I would love to try the burgers and get one of these beers, man. We need to try just like the cheeseburger. Get a cheeseburger? Which I think here is just the honest which is an honest beef, smoked bacon, cheddar, red onion relish, pickles, and lettuce. Perfect. And then we need to try one of their specials. What we could do is try their new smashed burger, which <laughs> happens to just be right face. here. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, let's do the smash. That sounds good. That's I want to do the honest, the regular. It's got bacon, cheddar, fantastic. Yep. And then a smashed, smash that bad boy up. I love that it smells like, they smell rosemary? It smells good, there is. So the rosemary fries, I like oh, a bit a of an honest burger thing. You got the cheddar as well. It's like a stronger kind of smell. Caramelized red onion going Caramelized on. Caramelized red onion, that mm -hmm. I'm not used to. I right, dig in, here we go. Oh, this, oh man, yeah, yes. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, dude. You made it one of these. Holy, wow. It's a juicy burger. That is fantastic. Oh my God. And these onions, like, yo, that's you a like secret it, right? weapon. Good is that common? Well, I'd say in like the sort of more upmarket burger chains. I don't want to touch the fries because I don't want to waste valuable stomach space. Very fair. That's really high praise because the fries are good as well. <laughs> yeah, like, and the bacon is fatty. So it's like softer and like, and, and, and the grease of it kind of like works with the burger. This thing is, this thing is incredible. Joe oh my her. God. Have you guys had this before? <laughs> Have you guys seen it before? Yeah. This place is amazing, right? Do you see why they are dominating the, yeah. uh, the charts? On they should rename it the Honest Burger chart. <laughs> and then just, just basically name every place that is an Honest Burger. <laughs> it's a lot easier. Like, oh, it's great. Oh, God. Oh. That's some high praise. It's a really good burger. This is the, this is the one to beat. It's the okay. one to beat. Do so you get the like the quality of the beef is there? The quality of everything is really, really good. good. Quality. Everything, the meat, the cheese, the bacon, the onion, everything together just works so perfectly. This thing's freaking fantastic. That's really high Are you price. kidding me? Like everyone's looking at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think so. With with the thicker burger, as we're saying, it's important. I think that you can customize how you want it cooked. Because my problem with some thick burgers is that if they are thick and also well done, yeah. then it becomes very dense, very dry, very I chewy. Say, for this me, is like, juicy as hell. Yeah, this is like a this is like a light uh, medium. I know LA is expensive, but so is London. If you ordered this exact dish with the fries, with the burger in LA, what would you like be expecting to pay for that? What would you be What would you be happy to pay for that? Uh, I think I could see this costing like twenty five bucks. This is like standalone high quality restaurant level like yeah th this this was in LA like lines out the door uh, huge hype people every celebrity would go just to get that gram shot of like look I'm here <laughs> this place would kill in LA What up, what up, what up? There you go. It's a brown butter mayo? Brown butter mayo he says. Oh, that uh, sounds delicious. This looks like like a quintessential smash burger. This is good. This man. looks like it's really well done. Yeah. What's in what's underneath here? There any, ooh, there's some onions and pickles. All right, I'll, I'll try. It. I'll have this with the pickles. Smash burger is always best while they're like fresh out the grill. Yeah. Well, this guy's on top here with the camera. Just <laughs> step, step back so he can eat. What are you doing? <laughs> He's taking his time. All right. Ready? I'm so ready. Let's go, man. I'm excited right, to try go. this. Mayo. Have you had this smash burger before? No, never. This is new. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, that's like the butter. The butter's like yeah, dripping off of this. Goodness me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so good. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Mm. Is this better than the first one? This is like really good. That's real good, man. That's really good. That is so buttery. Yeah, and crispy. Oh. And with the cheese and that, what do you say, like a, a brown butter or whatever? Brown butter mayo. Oh my God. I, I, anything with brown butter in it, my God. It's so good. I will say, your extra pickles kind of, kind of making this for me. It's crazy how good that is. It's like ridiculous how good that is. So obviously, smash burgers, 
Smash burgers are pretty popular in Very States. popular, yeah, I gotta say, very popular in LA. There's been a smash burger renaissance, if you will. Yeah. They're, they're popping up everywhere. A lot of good contenders. How does this compare? Right up there with them. Wow. This is fantastic. This would kill in LA. Wow. This is so good. This might be one of the best smash burgers I've ever had. Wow. Holy what's, crap. what's like setting it apart? Perfect crispiness on the beef, the way the cheese is melted to it, amazing. This butter saucer they put on there, that enhances the flavor so well. The onions too, just the whole thing together, the flavor the flavor is just out of control in this one. It's rich, but it's not like overwhelming. And it, this locks in with the cheese and this, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're having like this. an experience. Yeah, this, is, this is absolutely fantastic. We'll, we'll come back. Can we'll we, do, can we just do this? Let's just do this, this place. <laughs> Let's just do. Let's that's right. We only just pick one. It's this one. <laughs> Seven out of ten in TripAdvisor, baby. That's a C plus in America. That's a first at a British uni. What do you mean? 70% at a British uni is like the top grade you can get. Really? It's a first. You can't yeah. get 100%? You, I mean, technically you can, but it's like unheard of. You got 70 really? percent at a British uni. You've killed it. No. Mm -hmm. What did you get? 55. <laughs> Dumbass, this guy is. That's an F in America, bro. Like yep. 56, you said? I think 55. Maybe Even worse. Yeah. What a maroon. No, not good. All right. Well. Okay. Well, this has been fantastic. Yeah, I, think I you love agree. This, yeah. yeah, fantastic. We've got another spot to hit. Nothing compliments a burger like a burger. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, that's good. Uh. Oh my god. Play this video at my funeral. So. You promised me a best burger in London tour. I did. I couldn't help but notice we are in a Wimpy's. It's true. Why is that? They claim to be the first place to serve a hamburger-based meal in the UK, so not a lot has changed since the kind of 70s or even like 50s in the UK. It's very traditional, mixture of kind of fast food elements with more classic restaurant elements. Okay. But then also I think we should try some of the specialities, which at Wimpy for me, it's gonna be something that includes a bendy in a bun. A bendy in a bun is uh, like a frankfurter, like hot dog sausage. Yeah. They kind of slice it at intervals, which then lets you bend it into a circle, add it to a burger. I do understand the dilemma of wanting to eat a hot dog or a hamburger. Right. And finally, someone figured out, let's put them together. Wimpy figured it out. Yeah. This is where they've been doing it here. Get that flowery time. bun in there, you know, that I hear so many good things about. Maybe some beans. Oh. I swear to God, if there's any beans on the burger, I'm walking out of here. Okay, All right? right. We'll, we'll make a, we'll you make put a bean on the burger, I'm gone. <laughs> okay, understandable. This all sounds great, man. I am starving. Yeah, me too. I think we should get ordering. Let's do it. Hey. All right. Thank nice. You. I see why it's called Wimpy's though, because this is a Wimpy-ass looking burger. Look at this thing here. Like, what's going on? Over? That is disrespectful. What's what's Wimpy about this burger? It's a little, a little thinner than I thought it was going to be. I mean, yeah. I think because the, the the bun is so much bigger, it just makes the patty look a lot smaller. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <coughs> man. They're generous with, the, with their signature ketchup on this one. Are you good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I get it. I can see why this would be like a burger if you keep people keep coming back to. Mm -hmm. Like it has a distinct enough flavor, but it's not like so like overpowering, overwhelming that like it would turn people off. You see why people were losing their minds about this in the 50s? <laughs> <laughs> I could see I could see after a night of doing the Lindy Hop mm -hmm. with my fellow <laughs> blokes, leaving the, I don't know, box social, yep. hitting a Wimpy's on the way home. <laughs> this was this was definitely ahead of its yes. time, uh, yeah, around thought, the same time as the polio vaccine. Yeah, I got it. Thoughts, thoughts on the, uh, the dusty, AKA flowery bun? That's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no strong opinions. Yeah, I know, whatever. What am I tasting here? Mm -hmm. It's like a mayo, but like that relish in it? Thousand Island would be like the closest oh, thing you yeah, have. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe? No, Thousand Island, no. I think basically in the UK we call that burger sauce. Not bad. Not bad. Have you ever tried English breakfast tea? I, all tea tastes the same. Okay, interesting. All tea tastes the same. That's a hot take. Oh, thank you. Hey! Here we go. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> Is this? <laughs> what the f <laughs> What's in the middle? Not a lot, I don't think. Oh, onions. Talk me through your, your gut reaction this to the bending This looks like in a something uh, a kid would make mm -hmm. um, when like occasionally parents are like, hey, why don't you make lunch? <laughs> and then you gotta be like, ah, oh, thanks, Timmy. What's funny about it is that you said this has been around forever. Yes. And they haven't solved the hot dogs are long and buns are circle. I, th I think we should eat I'm this. Morbidly Let's curious. go. All right. Bendy in a bun. <laughs> Welcome to the UK. Oh, that's so juvenile. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Well, the hot doggy, the hot dog is a little more like spiced or flavor than a regular hot dog. Mm -hmm. I will concede, logistically, not the best thing to eat. I think you kind of have to go around it in a circle. Because if you try and eat just through the middle of this, you're going to get bites that are just cheese and onion, which might be to some people's taste, might be not to others. I don't want to eat this. <laughs> I don't want to eat this. I'll take one more bite because I'm being employed to do so. Can I shock you, Joe? I quite like this. It might be because I have the sort of palate of that like little eight-year-old kid who's been left on his own to cook dinner. Yeah. But this is good. What, what are you not liking about this? The hot dog's weird. I know there's a lot to be desired about uh, UK cuisine. Case in point, uh, on my way to this fine country of yours, I mentioned the three different people, three different strangers, while I was uh, traversing over here that I was going to the UK specifically to do a show about food, and all three of them were like, ugh, <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. But I don't, I don't know about this hot dog, man. I mean, like, it's like, it's, it's just, it's, um, I hate it. I don't want okay. it. So <laughs> that is a mess. Have we, have we ruined hot dogs? No, but it, it, uh, you've ruined bendies. And to be honest, I got a bit of a headache now. Bendy headache. Yeah, I got. You've a, got the I, bends. Yeah, I've got the, I got the bends. <laughs> Oh god, that's what it's named after. And they're like, you can't, you can't keep calling it that. Stop, like, stop man, we're it. not moving these. I don't know what's what's wrong. <laughs> so I mean, this was maybe not the perfect way to end because you seem to have not enjoyed the bendy in a bun. Yeah. We're just going to put this to one side for a minute as an overall experience uh -huh. at Wimpy, and also focusing more on maybe the burger than the bendy. Like, okay. some thoughts. Uh, I do like it. I like it more than I thought I was going to. Admittedly, I came in with expectations real low. Um, no, I did like the burger. Uh, I get why. It has like a nostalgia to it. Um, if I lived in the UK or if there's a Wimpy's nearby, I think I would frequent it every once in a while. Wimpy's, I get it. Okay, but yeah. not the bendy. Not, never touching that again, ever. <laughs> I look forward, the, 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 my life will be pre-bendy and post-bendy and look forward to existing and never having that ever again. But I am looking forward to where you take me next. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Yo, what's up with that egg over there? What is that? That's the gherkin. Oh, what is it really? It's literally the gherkin. It's not yeah. the gherkin. It's the gherkin. What's the, why is it called the gherkin? Because <laughs> it looks like a gherkin. The next stop isn't technically on the list, but I did want to show Joe a true British burger experience, and we've happened to stumble across one. How are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to show my friend here some British burgers. Can we order two beef burgers, please? Yeah, I love it. This to me is a very traditional British burger experience. We're at Petticoat Lane Market in East London, yeah. and I thought there were some more British burger lessons to be taught here, from here. And what lesson is that? A lot of the burgers I would eat growing up, especially when I was out and about, mm -hmm. uh, were, I guess like burger van burgers is what you'd be called. Yeah. This is similar to that, it's a stall, but similar vibe, it's you know, outdoors, uh, cooked on one big grill. Yeah. And what you get here is, it's a beef burger. It's very simple, it's beef, usually cheese, fried onions, and then ketchup and mustard. And that's kind of all you need to create yeah. a very simple but elegant British burger. Looks simple and elegant. Yeah, this too. actually looks really good. Yeah. Uh, I saw some smash on the grill, which I like to see doing an authentic smash with the, I don't know what those tools are called, but he's definitely smashing it the right way. Uh, I love grilled onions. Yep. Uh, the cheese is nice and uh, unnaturally yellow. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, not a lot of other obnoxious vegetables that I don't want in my burger anyway, so I could see why there'd be a nostalgia factor to this. Without further ado, yeah. should we give this a try? Yeah, let's go. Cool. I'll try this. Oh, go. Yeah, dude. Oh, you see, like, piping hot? See mm -hmm. that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, for me, is very nostalgic. Mm -hmm. 
It's definitely better quality than what I'm used to from burger vans. Mm -hmm. The kind of like roadside burger vans that you might find on a sort of A road or at a car boot sale, for example, yeah. if either of those things mean anything to you. No. It's fair enough, we can move on. Right. The quality's good here. The beef is actually really good. Like you say, smash burgers, delicious. I love those onions. The onions get such a nice texture to it. Yeah. It's also just really simple, right? It's yeah. a simple burger. I was gonna say, the simplicity is clutch here, especially if you're kind of eating it on the street or on the go. Mm -hmm. Like you can just get, get the whole, whole meal here on your way to work, on your way to the train, mm -hmm. on your way to the pub to meet up with the lads. I mean, yeah. I like, yeah, I like how, um, I mean, also put some pepper on here too, which I really like. A little bit but, of fresh pepper. Yeah. There's, so this is English mustard. Does that taste vaguely similar to the mustard that you're used to? It's quite, it's quite potent, right? Yeah, it's a lot stronger. I was thinking yeah. maybe just put a lot of mustard on here, but mm -hmm. that makes more sense. Yeah, but I know I love it because I love mustard. So mustard on this is legit. Yeah, and the fries are really good too. They're really good. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Like this is totally like an like a upscale on the go burger. Yeah, yeah. I really like this. Burger and Beyond. Our last stop on this. You've been here before. I have. And you seem to like it very much. I do. So we did a uh, video a while ago where we were ranking some of our favorite burgers in London. Mm -hmm. uh, this was my favorite. So I'm, I'm holding this personally to high standards and I hope it lived up. What do you think made this one the best? They don't try and overcomplicate things. It's just good quality beef, good quality toppings in a nice bun. So I think, again, we'll order just like a cheeseburger. And then one of the slightly fancier options, I think. Ooh, in the what's past, fancy I've usually, ones. In the past, I've gone for the bacon butter burger, which is really good. But mm. I think today we should maybe try the bougie burger. Now look at this dry aged beef patty, American cheese, steak sauce, marronaise, which is bone marrow and mayonnaise. Bone marrow mayo. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's really that good. sounds ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. What's hey, up? Here we go. Bougie burgers. Thank you so much. Look at these. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. First thoughts? Uh, yeah, it looks incredible. It smells yeah. incredible, too. This looks like such a, like, a perfect burger. It's one of those things where like, I'm, like, I'm tempted to cut into it and find us actually cake. Literally. You know that, you know? <laughs> it looks like the cheeseburger emoji. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Sleeves, sleeves rolled sleeves, slightly. This sleeves is, rolled up. It's gonna be a little Here we nice. go. Here we go. <laughs> Mmm. Yeah, dude. This is so flavorful. Mm -hmm. It's like incredible. I got like the two ones confused on what's on it. Yes. This like this whatever this this like white sauce is paired with the the burgers per cooked perfectly. The cheese is incredible. Like this thing is amazing. Right. And sometimes like the bun is like really like fluffy yet like crunchy on the outside. I'm like like I don't have the vocabulary to describe it, but <laughs> this thing like is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, after Again. after David eating burgers like this is incredible. You look like revitalized slightly yeah. by this burger. I wow. was worried this would just kill you off, but it's done the opposite. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, back yeah. Alive. Like CPR. This is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> you've been um, defibrillated by this. So you've burger. been here before. I have. Yeah. Talk I'm, me through it. What 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 am, what am I eating? What am I tasting? I, I mean, I shamelessly love this burger. It's yeah. really really good. Like I say, it previously was like my top pick in London. Mm -hmm. I was going into today with an open mind, and I still am. But this is it's, oh yeah, it's so good, man. It's simultaneously wow. like very rich, but also quite like. <laughs> Tangy, it like you know, cuts through itself in a way. Yeah, this is fantastic. Good little call this little place. bits of pickled white onion as well. Yeah, and you kind of need that when it's this rich. Because the onions, I was tasting the onions, but they tasted like not just like straight up onions, not even like grilled ones. You're telling me they're pickled? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes little sense. Bit. That makes sense. Wow, dude. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm. Oof. I mean, I want to keep eating it, but. <laughs> we got what yeah, appears got to be a uh, burger sundae. <laughs> I don't even know where, like, what angle to go into this next one. So, have you had this before? This one? I have, yeah. <laughs> I'm a Burger and Beyond fanboy. I've tried really? pretty much everything on the menu. So you come here a lot? Uh, I try to. Yeah, it's really good. You got that second date coming up. Exactly. Is she uh, Beyond Burger and Beyond uh, worthy? She's vegetarian, so tricky. With the, yeah, my, break with up. My Forget career. it. Delete her number. <laughs> uh, delete her. What do you? What? What? what, what? Look at what we're doing. Who's I this know. person gonna be with? Maybe she will. We be. almost fired Charlie because he's a vegetarian. <laughs> oh. Maybe she'll see this video and she'll be so inspired that this will oh. bring her oh, back. Oh, she's gonna see this? This will bring her back to the dark side. Hi, you sound nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting that earlier stuff. <laughs> How you doing? So what we have here, Joe, we have the bougie burger. This is ridiculous looking. So, you know, bougie means, you know, you're feeling a little bit, a little bit fancy. I mean, I'm thinking like, I don't, I don't know if I can just pick this up with one thing. Is this gonna be? Am I gonna ruin this video by doing this? I think I just want to kind of. I am gonna judge you for doing that. 
If you're if you're comfortable living with that, please please be my guest. People of the internet, you cannot expect me to pick this up with my hands. <laughs> People of the internet, I'm gonna pick this up with my hands. This one was incredible. Yeah. Completely. And but and they are they're advertising this one as like, yo, we took it up a notch. Yeah. Which is I can't like I I can't fathom taste wise how <laughs> how they could have like increased the decadence of this. On that note, yeah. I think we try it. All right. Good luck. <sighs> Napkins at the ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me. <laughs> the absurdity has gotten to Joe. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Yeah, that gravy is like... Um, do, they, do they sell that? Can they? They could make a killing if they, oh, if they started doing that. Oh, that gravy is incredible. That. And yeah, the bone marrow, like, it makes this whole thing incredibly rich. Yes. The fact they're able to take the bone marrow and make it like a mayo sauce. What? Oh, this is incredible. Is it a good delivery system oh, for oh the bone my marrow? God. The only note, and we're being picky because it's kind of a review show, is it's a bit sloppy. A bit sloppy. It, it is, yeah. Like, burgers are fantastic. Yep. The bun's incredible. Yep. But the key is whatever sauce they've made and put on either of these is like, yeah. what is this? How did you invent this? And where can I get it? <laughs> like, wow, wow, wow. Get some, get some sauce. Need like a spoon or straw, maybe. <laughs> I'm going. In, I'm so full, but I'm going in for all the bite. I cannot stop myself. It's incredible, but dare I say it's a tinge too decadent. But like this maybe. one over here. Yeah. I mean, this guy. <laughs> you. I'm mad that you took me here because before I walked out of Arnsberg, I'm like, mm, crown them, they're the kings, Easy. but. Man, you got a, you got a decision to make. Oh now. man, the, um, the, the, the the cocktail finale. Another cheers. We can. You know, the cheers cocktails when we're halfway through them, right? I think so. <laughs> yeah, all right. Cheers, Joe. All right, cheers. Well, successful day of burger eating. I knew, I mean, I knew you guys were gonna bring the heat, but this is a really hard decision. It is. Uh, oh my god, uh, uh, some of these burgers are maybe the best burgers I've ever had. That's I mean, my these phrase. are absolutely incredible burgers. I'm like. Almost dizzy. We've been eating burgers all day. Yes. And I'm still like so full I feel like I'm gonna burst and also <laughs> I wanna eat more of that burger. So we're gonna focus primarily on just the cheeseburgers that we've had today. Yeah. We have had some great signature burgers, but to keep it a fair comparison, we'll stick to the classics. As a tourist visiting London, yeah. if you had to pick one of the spots we hit today uh... to recommend as a must visit spot for the next person, the next time someone comes to London, which one are you picking and why? God damn it. This is really hard. Take all the time you need. And we obviously know the hard decision. <laughs> they're, they are all great. To, to be clear, all of these are great. Would you happily recommend any of these places? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them, no. Maybe one exception. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's between Honest and this place. Okay. When I left Honest, I was thinking, that's the winner. I couldn't conceive a burger topping that. And then we came here, and I'm like, <laughs> 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 Oh, damn it, this is really good. Um, so I have to pick one. I'm picking here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm picking burger and beyond. Burger and beyond. All the burgers are cooked really well. This one's cooked perfectly. The cheese, pre everything, but like, this one just like, whatever they're putting on that burger to like enhance that flavor. I'll use your guys' measurement system. We're talking millimeters, if that, ahead of Honest Burger. In my opinion, Still, it's still burger. Yeah, I was just saying, like, what? <laughs> like, you've been talking about this place all day. I know, it's really good. Um, I mean, honest burger's ridiculous. It's really good, and I it's came really into good. this with an open mind. I've been to Honest before, and I do think it's great. And also, like, value for money, really good. Like, that smash burger we had at Honest, eight pounds fifty for that and fries. Yeah, insane deal. Yeah. Really, really good deal. This place is slightly more on the expensive side when compared to that. But yeah, the quality on this is, is amazing. You need to go here and have this burger. Yeah. Like it's a, it's a, like a must. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. And I'm dizzy with burgers. And uh, if you had something to say in the comments, go ahead and do so now. <laughs> and we'll be sure to get back to you on YouTube. <laughs> we'll Thanks really for watching. Nice.